Within the profession of arms, many of us understand what it means to be a part of or plan any type of military operation. What's lost to the general public are the nuances and the planning factors that go into the execution of such a campaign. O over the course of the last few decades, I think we've come to really understand the social science behind the military operation, the culture, uh, the culture angles of any type of operation, to where we really integrate gender into the phases so that we understand in, in each thing that we do what the potential ripples could be from an act or a failure to act or a reaction. So it's not only an external force, and I think that's important to remember that understanding gender perspectives are both an external concern for military planners and also an internal force multiplier. So to understand the gender perspectives of not only your formation, but maybe the gender perspectives of your adversaries as well. It can go a long way to shaping not only stability operations after the kinetic operations are done, but also to long-term security as we look to combat terrorist threats, uh, from potential adversaries or people on the inside. As we, as we go forward uh, in, in the things that we're trying to do as an organization, as a military, as a government, and in instituting new policies and procedures as part of our national instruments of power, I think it's very, very important to understand how gender plays a part in that and how cultural aspects of gender can shape how we make our plans.